Time now for Eyewitness News. Call 12 for action. A local dance studio owner who was once featured on the reality TV show Dance Studio Rescue is sentenced to probation for failing to pay three of her employees. And this is an investigation we've been tracking for years. Eyewitness News consumer reporter Susan Campbell joins us now with the new details. A judge ordered Marlena Raposa to pay $4,798 to three dance instructors who weren't paid what they were owed back in 2014. The Triple Threat Performing Arts Center in Warwick closed almost three years ago. Now the dance studio's owner has to pay nearly $5,000 in restitution to three former employees who weren't paid. According to court documents we obtained back in 2015, Marlena Raposa was ordered to pay each complainant their due wages plus 12% interest and additional civil penalties. She didn't comply with the court order, so an arrest warrant was issued. Just last month, Raposa agreed to a plea deal and was sentenced to probation. But Raposa's legal trouble doesn't stop there. So many people have been affected negatively by this. Back in 2014, several dance moms contacted Call 12 for Action, frustrated that they had paid for dance lessons and competitions that never happened. She said that it was canceled, actually. I called them myself and they said, no, it wasn't canceled. Your studio just didn't pay. As we reported, the Rhode Island Attorney General filed a lawsuit claiming that Raposa had violated the Deceptive Trade Practices Act. Now we've learned there's a civil judgment against Raposa for nearly $16,000. According to the AG's office, Raposa has to pay $200 every month to resolve 29 consumer complaints. We tried unsuccessfully to track down Raposa to get her side of the story. In a statement, Rhode Island Attorney General Peter Kilmartin said Ms. Raposa violated the trust of her employees when she failed to pay them wages and violated the trust of her young students with failed promises of elite dance lessons and competitions. If you have a consumer problem you need help solving, contact our Call 12 for Action Center Monday through Thursday from 11 until 1. Our hotline is 228-1850. Or if you're interested in becoming a Call 12 for Action volunteer, you can call that same number on your screen. I'm Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.